middle of the court. A brilliant piece of driving by Mark Miller. But now Robin Liddell may be able to use the power. And there was contact, was there? Yes, there was. It was the Murillo 65 that turned that 18 car around. Uh, the 65 was Brett Mosing, who was the, uh, was hitting who hit that car and spun him around. Now, did he get some help from the 26? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was close. You know, but, but that it's just not great driving, I'm afraid, by those guys. By either driver, frankly. No. Connor Blue made the move to the inside, but he wasn't clear when he moved across to the outside on the exit, and he got tagged, and there is a full course caution. Well, thankfully, they called it caution because there's debris all over the track here. He's done, the, he's done the right thing and got the car off the circuit, but I think... There's too much. There's too big a lump of Porsche. There's a headlight yeah. cluster that is in the middle of the road, and uh, that is the issue. We've got the uh, we've got the Cayenne safety vehicle coming to pick that up. Side by side into turn 20. All is good at this point, but Bloom just doesn't leave any room on no. the outside for Brett Morsing, who was taking the wide line, and then Brett doesn't. Do the simple thing to avoid that accident would have been to feather the throttle no, a tiny no, bit. No, no, John. No, he's racing, uh, and uh, and he, he's not allowed to go over the, that red and white curbing. He has to stay where he is, otherwise he's going to get called for a penalty. That was entirely Connor Bloom who should have avoided that incident. Uh, well, I think if he's you the guy who's making the, the pass, and he's got to make the pass clean. He hadn't completed the pass. 